everyone and welcome to Soul Stained Ink. My name is Beth and I am here today with my weekly reads video. So typically what happens is that I talk to you guys on Friday and tell you what I plan to read over the weekend. And then on Monday, at least here lately, I'm like, oh, I finished all of these things. I'm about to finish this one and here's the new things I'm going to be reading for the week. Um, that's not what's happening today. Today I tell you that uh, Shape Changer by Bill Britton. I am now on chapter three instead of chapter two. Yep. Uh, Forever Neverland by Susan Adrian. Didn't start. Uh, what is this one? These Unlucky Stars by Jillian McDunn. Didn't start. Excuse me. Someone's crawling on me. Hello. Um, yes. Did you want to say hello to them? Mm hmm Yep. Yeah. There's more. There are four of them. I discovered that today. You see, I thought that there were two black ones and an orange one. That is what I have known for the last six weeks. <laughs> no. I came in the house to get the physical copy of the book Elena, and I did start this weekend. Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. And uh, the three kittens I knew about were in the playroom with their mama. And then another cat, um, who is the mama of their mama, was laying in my bedroom. And she had this thing. And I thought I was hallucinating or that one of the kittens had gotten free. No, no, now there's four. And I think one of them is Roxy's, who is the mama of the one who I knew had kittens, and that the other three are Binx's. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I can guarantee you that when Binx had the babies, I thought there were four, and then there were only three when I checked a couple hours later, and I thought, okay, one died, or she took it outside and threw it out because something was wrong with it. I'm not going to say anything. Maybe I hallucinated the baby. Um, and now six weeks later, there are in fact four. There are four, and they like to complain. That was fun today. Uh, anyway, so these three will be being read this week. Um, I'm hoping to get more things done as well. But what I did start, along with uh, The Lightning Thief by Rick Rowerton, um, Elena and I, I'm almost done with it. Elena and I listened to the first four or five chapters together on audio yesterday. And then I got her the physical copy and she'll be reading it. But I listened to it on the way home. Uh, today and a little bit while I was working around the house. I'm almost done with it. I have read it uh, previously, so I, I don't have to pay as close uh, attention to it as I do some of the new books. I am also about halfway done with Winston Chu versus the Whimsies by Stacey Lee, and I've read the first six chapters of Everblaze, which is the third in the Keeper of the Lost Kingdom series by Shannon Messenger. That is my buddy read with Fiona from Reads and Eats. We did um well now there are two of them yelling at me. Sorry. Uh we did a buddy read a couple of weeks ago of The Lost City of Atlantis or whatever that was called. We didn't like it very much, but we do Enjoy the Keeper of the Lost Cities or Kingdoms Cities. We like this series by Shade and Messenger. We buddy read the first two books. And so far, I am enjoying this one as well. Technically, we also buddy read the Jungle Book because that is um, the book that we read for our um, Children's Literature Book Club. That's what we read in May for that. Uh, we love to buddy read and... We are very snarky, and we find ourselves delightful. So uh, this will be very fun to continue reading and discussing with her this week. Um, I'm hoping to finish the audio for Winston Chu tomorrow. Probably not on the way to work, but on the way back after graduation, uh, probably. And then maybe I can do something else. This is our last week of school, uh, and I literally have one more full day with students. So we have all day tomorrow, get out at 4.30. I get out at about 4.45. Uh, 
then eighth grade graduation starts at six. So um, either way, I then have a half day on Tuesday and we get out at 1230, but I do have a 74 mile commute one way. And so I will not be driving home just to turn around and go back for uh, high school graduation. And I'm definitely going to go watch my seniors graduate. So uh, I'll probably just go to Shamrock and hang out with the kids. But then Wednesday, we have our final teacher in service before summer starts. So I will be making that commute again on Wednesday. Uh, with all that being said, I should finish the audiobooks that I have, possibly another one uh, by the time I get home on Wednesday, and then uh, physical books. So we'll see where I end up. I will let you guys know, of course, when I talk to you on Friday. And with that, uh, I'm completely cleaning out the playroom. Well, I completely cleaned out the playroom which was just covered absolutely horrible looking. I'd been throwing stuff in there from redoing the girls' bedrooms and the girls were going in there and playing and there was just, you don't want to know how bad it was. Uh, but I've spent the last couple of days uh, moving everything out of there and I'm going to rip up the carpet and put in the new snap together wood flooring and uh, just paint the walls and make it a really fun space for the girls. So that being said, I will have the girls because it's summertime and I won't have as much time to listen to audiobooks while I do those things um, because when I was painting and redoing the other rooms, it was during the school year and they were staying at my parents' house during the week and, um, you know, I was listening to audiobooks while I was painting and pulling up carpet and things like that. So it'll be interesting to see what my schedule looks like now that I'm going to get to have them back full time um, for reading. Um, it is summer, so I will have more time to focus on the things around here and to hopefully focus on reading and grad school courses. Uh, but I'm also planning on taking them to do some fun adventures and just really getting to hang out with my kiddos and enjoy their time. So the end of the month, might look vastly different from the beginning of the month. However, I have already read 19 books, I believe. So that's a banging month, even if I don't finish anything else in the month of May. I've read 19 middle grade books. I also have a textbook I'll be completing in the next couple of days for my mini course and uh, the other books I'm reading right now. So Honestly, it's been an amazing month, even if I don't finish reading anything else, but I'm looking forward to all of the things that I am reading and will be reading. Um, I'd love to know if you've read any of these, uh, how you're doing with your reading, all of those things. Let me know in the comment section down below. Come talk to me. I always love a good chat. And uh, until I talk to you again, I'll see you later. Be safe out there. Bye.